Do you know what week it is? It's Shark Week. Oh my gosh, we're getting close and close. What do I do? One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you. might be a good chance uh, to tell you guys a little story about how I learned the art of paying it forward and how it became important to me. Um, Sarah's uncle, Graham Parsons, who passed away right before Alyssa from ep epilepsy and a seizure, was one of my mentors. Uh, he was a very smart man. He ran LPL Financial Services in Erie, and I actually worked for him for a while, and I learned a ton. But what, sta what stood out most is when I first moved to Erie, PA, I had no money. I was a pizza delivery guy. Me and Sarah lived in a small little apartment. We had nothing. And um, he found out that I had an interview to be a car salesman in Girard at McQuillan's. And said he called me and said, hey, I need you to come to my office. Uh, it's important. So I went to his office. And when I walked in, he shook my hand. And he handed me $200 cash in an envelope. He said, I want you to go up and see my friend Jeff Bolitnikoff at Macy's. And I want to get I want you to get yourself some new shoes, pants, a shirt, belt, tie, and make sure you look like a million bucks for your interview. And I did, and it was it was great. It worked out fantastic. I got the job. And after I had been established in the business for a while, I um, I earned that two hundred dollars back and I went to go give it back to him. And he would not accept it. He refused to accept it and he told me, listen. It's not about that. When you get a chance, when you're successful later on in life, when you get a chance to do the same thing that I did for you, I want you to do it every chance you get. I want you to pay it forward to every young salesman, every young person that you see potential in. I want you to do the same thing. And you know what? I did it to five or six people that I hired that were young car salesmen, and I helped them out. So thank you, Graham, and that's the power of paying it forward. And I learned it from Graham Parsons. <laughs> Hey dude, what? where are we going? Getting my haircut. Getting what? My haircut. Let's look at that hair. You need a haircut. Look at that mop on top. Mine's covered with a hat, but it's just as bad, guys. It's haircut day. We got Jace back there. Wave, Jace. <laughs> so, well, won't be needing these today. Thanks, Erie Weather. All right, me and Jace are packing up in the truck, and we are on our way to the barber shop to go see our buddy Jason Santos. Jace, how, how ridiculous is that hair, buddy? Let me see. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We're on our way. Headed into the Agresti office real quick to see Karen. We're working on a big AJO thing. Could include Disney. We don't know yet, right? <laughs> big meeting. God, it's really quiet in here. Where is everybody? Hi, my name's Julie and I only own shirts with cold shoulders on them. Are you guys working on my resume? We'd be here for weeks, which is so <laughs> extensive. Make sure you use good cardstock, okay? Okay. And Wingdings font. <laughs> Wingdings font. Do you want to smell to a company? <laughs> yes. Can you, can you spray it with Axe body spray? Yeah. All right, yes. Mm -hmm. Crush your head. Crush, crush, crush. This is Jake's yeah. talking about a and Disney then cruise we're going in from November. From Bohemian <laughs> Island right into the port of Disney. And they get included, you get a hopper pass to do the whole day in Disney. Get out. Uh, check pass. it out. The Disney Magic Cruise Line. Yeah. We're probably going to go to this Disney. Is the Mary Tom What's that on your sweatshirt, sir? Hmm? What's on your sweatshirt? Oh, just some crap. Some crap? <laughs> Yeah. Check it out. It's All amazing. Right. All right, we're gonna do it. Go ahead. 
So guys, I am here at Continental Barber Shop to see my buddy Jay Santos. He's been cutting my hair for years. I got Jace inside right now, getting trimmed up. And then I'm next. I gotta get something done with this. What's up, dudes? What's up, guys? You guys are gonna be on the show today. Are you excited? Yeah. Hey, Jay, um, Sarah said she would like a perm and as curly as possible. And maybe bangs. You want bangs? You want curly bangs? Curly bangs? Dude, that's like curly fries, but with your hair. You just got back from that Facebook hiatus. <laughs> How you doing? Good, man. Sure. So, um, so do you want to you want to go in four hundred thousand each on that Jason's Deli franchise, buddy? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, I'm just gonna have to go home. I got it in my piggy bank, okay. um, and you can just write me a check for the, for your half, and uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I got a couple cash, a couple. But big, then we'd have to call it Jason Ziz's Deli because yeah, there's there's plural that. Jasons. It does have a nice ring to it though. I need a 41 year old man to cut my hair, but he can't look 41. And this is this is working out perfectly. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Thanks for helping me out. Mm -hmm. Even though I got a gray beard. I got a gray beard too. Gray beards are in right now. Yeah? Yeah. They are. Non-gray beards are out. Why would you have to shoot her before you throw her over too? Can't you just throw her over? Or just don't. <laughs> or just be like, hey, guess what? I cheated on you or right. I don't love you anymore. I'm not gonna murder you and we're just gonna leave each other alone. I, I feel like that would be the less prison-y way to go about things. Like my skeleton clippers here? Let's see. Nice, huh? Those custom. are sweet, dude. Custom? Yeah, custom. Only the best for this. And the dude had thousand dollar scissors. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Like what would make him what separates twenty dollar scissors some, and thousand dollar scissors? Some guy came in here last year. Yeah, he had thin it. chairs. Yeah. What are they? Two grand? Two grand for a pair of thinning chairs. Why? What do they do? I don't I think that length looks good, don't you? Mr. O'Neill. I look good. I look fresh. How are you doing? No, cut this crown down a little bit. Yeah, cut my crown down. Yeah, I'll cut your crown down. I don't know what that is, but let's do it. Head. Ah, you mean the bald spot? Yeah. All right, guys, let's check it out. Not bad. Good job, Jay. We're out of here. So me and Jace just left uh, getting our hair cut. We're all uh, we're fresh, um, and uh, we're gonna go to lunch. It is pretty tasty. Every now and then you get a hankering for some Taco Bell. Don't eat it all. Just left Taco Bell and we're headed home. So, I just got a call from the Humane Society and I have to run up there and pick up Rufus. Somehow he got out. I don't know if he got out the back door or something. Had no idea and somebody took him there. It's the worst feeling in the world. Oh, I hate it. I gotta go get my boy, I hope he still loves me. I'm coming, Rufy, I'm coming. Going to get our puppy, Rufus, the escape artist, Rufus the destroyer. You said you, Sue, right? Sue. Thank yes. you so much, Sue. You're and this welcome. is way better than doing your taxes, right? Well, I get a refund, so he just, oh. muddied, he just muddied it up. Okay, well, I'm, <laughs> thank you, Sue. Thank you again so much. I'm, I'm happy. Yes. Rufus, are you done being a silly maniac? What are you do? How did you get out? You're grounded, sir. Hey, hi, Rufus. Hello. Hi. Ready to go oh, there, big the sir? Three years later, he walks in the door and we still recognize him like that. Because he's an awesome dog. He looks camouflaged. Because he's awesome. You know what that's from? 
It wasn't always that way. He no. lays by our fireplace all day, oh and he gets so hot, he like starts rubbing his back, and it gives him like that camel <laughs> pattern. We have to pull him away because he gets dry skin. Oh, you seriously have no clue how we got out? No, we checked I mean, all the- You were at home though? Yeah. Rufus, you're gonna break my heart. You're gonna break my heart. Come on. Don't you think it's time to go home now, sir? Escape artist Rufus, what are you thinking? It's winter time. Okay, needless to say, I am so relieved. I'm so glad we didn't lose our Rufus. He means the world to me. I love this dog so much, and and I don't like when people give pit bulls a bad name because I see the love that's in his eyes and in his heart, and there's nothing. There's nothing bad about this dog. My Chihuahua, that's a different story. That dog's mean, but it's Alyssa's dog. So it's a mean Alyssa's dog. Hey Butters. Yeah. You know what time it is? It's the end of the vlog. It's what? The end of the vlog. Oh. And see you tomorrow, guys. Oh, no. no.